you very much, Dave Woods. We've had guests tonight not being available. We've had phones cut out. We've had gremlins everywhere. And we finish it off by bringing on Nicky Wire, the Manic Street Preachers, just as his rugby league team are knocked out of the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's not a bad omen for Wales. Really. Oh, mate. Should we forget <laughs> rugby league exists then and just talk about rugby I union? i tell you what, my, the, um, the owner of Warrington, Simon Moran, who's been our promoter for 21 years, he's not going to be a happy boy tonight. <sighs> Let's stick to the rugby union. Um, <laughs> I have a feeling in my gut about Wales. I say that as an Irishman going towards that quarter final because, Nicky, for me, it's a balance of youth and it's a balance of not just experience, but in the case of one of the greatest ever, last chance saloon for Shane Williams. Do you share my optimism or are you a paranoid Welshman? <laughs> I'm a bit of a paranoid Welshman. I mean, I was after the South Africa game, which is probably one of the best games of rugby I've seen us play as a team in maybe a decade. And to lose that... You know, it was there was no speaking in my household for two days. <laughs> but uh, I do think my only worry is is it six months too early? I got a feeling whatever happens in the World Cup, we could well win a Grand Slam in the Six Nations. But you know, but then again, they anyone who puts their bodies on the line like those players has just got nothing but respect, really. Given your club side, you must be loving watching that Welsh number eight, Toby Fallatai. He's, he's he's been wonderful. <laughs> he's just stunning, you know, and it's just him and, and Warburton as well. It's just. I don't think I've ever seen a number seven just cover more ground and just get just bashed and bashed and bashed. You know, I mean, my knees are gone after jumping on stage for 20 years. So <laughs> God knows what it is, must be like. What's your allegiance here, OK? Because it's six nations at one side of the draw. So let, let's take the best case scenario for Wales. Beat England. Sorry, beat Ireland. Beat England into the final. At what stage of that run do you say to James, stick your band, I'm, <laughs> I'm off down under? <laughs> I think semi-final time. There'll, be, <laughs> there'll definitely be a call to the WRU to see if we can do a special gig in New Zealand. See that? Must... I mean, you know, we've had. I remember playing um, when Wales beat Italy in the football. Well, ten years ago, we played before that match. We did. We played at the stadium, and that that was a spellbinding moment. But something like this would be be the biggest ever. I find it bizarre that you've never played in one of those special rugby nights in the Six Nations or whenever at, 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 a, at a Wales home game for the Manic Street Preachers. Has that never happened? It's just too nerve-wracking. I mean, it does. It just gets to your soul, it gets to your heart, like like nothing ever else does in, in a national sense. You know, there's just something deeply ingrained. Mm. It's funny because I was absolutely awful at rugby at school. I mean, I was a complete girl. You know, I just I bruised very easily, but I was good at football. But um, since I stopped playing football, rugby just, just mm. takes you to a different level, I think, if you're Welsh. I think, I think this is another case of someone who's way too talented, by the way. It makes you sick because I think Nicky, <laughs> N Nicky was offered tries at Spurs or something, which we'll get to in a second. Do you second. think if the World Cup organisers <clears throat> were asked if the, the Manic Street Peach should go and play, when they keep, uh, they're keeping out the red hot chili pipe, isn't they? The Scottish, like, with their bagpipes. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Do you think, you think they'd ask, they'd say, Manic Street, but no, nah, sorry, no, can't, we can't get the drums and the, you know, no, the guitars. We, we, Health done. and safety, can't, can't be done. <laughs> we, we, we've done I that. I think we're, we're bigger in New Zealand than those. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure, actually. Um, Shane Williams, um, I said arguably the best ever, but let's have the argument because as he comes towards the end of his career, it's always easier to reminisce and sometimes it's not fair, Nicky, to talk about two greats and try and split them anyway. Uh, most people will always say Gareth Edwards. Do you say Shane Williams? I think no player has gone more out of their body in the entire history of any sport than Shane. I mean, if you meet the guy or you see the guy, he is tiny. You know, he is really small and he's playing in the most physical game I consider in the world. You know, it's not even like American football where you're covered in pads. And he has just got every inch of muscle and he's like Bruce Lee. You know, there is no body fat, there is just pure sinew and muscle. And I mean, Gareth, I think probably in terms of his physique, he was a hurdler in the Commonwealth Games. He was just an amazing athlete anyway. But Shane, to get what he's done out of his body, and he's played in some bad Welsh sides as well. You know, I think... Gareth played in a brilliant Welsh side, mm. but Shane has always performed even when we haven't been at our best. So I don't know if I, I, know, I can't split them, but Shane is the modern day great, definitely. Um, it, are the other members in your band as big rugby nuts as, as yourself? Because um, I've had a few conversations with you that you, you straight away, you'd be straight onto the rugby in it, as if you needed to find somebody who could talk to you about it. <laughs> or, or, or the bad Sean, uh, put Sean down more than James, I'd imagine. No, James is definitely more. Sean is much more. Oh. He just like Sean's just come back from, uh, you know, the Formula One in in Italy. That's his kind of. Sean is in the upper echelons of oh. sport. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, 
And he likes the dis. I think Sean gets so wrapped up in it at times. He's actually made a conscious decision not to get too engaged because it hurt him too much back in it. the day. Nicky Wire from the Manning Street preaches. Nicky's going to be a big physical game. Um, so obviously the the front three, the, um, Jenkins, Bennett, and Jones are really crucial. Yeah. I know it's the Fiji game. I mean, we could well we're not we're going to get to the court finals. Whether we beat Fiji or not is is it's such a tough game. How pool has been to have South Africa, Samoa, and Fiji in your it's pool. Brutal. I mean, <laughs> it is. Brutal is the only word. And to get out of that, I think, is an achievement in itself. I would say that Italy Island is not a foregone conclusion. I would. I, I would. You, you know, and I <laughs> want it. I love Ireland. I think they, they've got an amazing side. But that, that Italy pack, if it's raining and it gets into a dogfight, you know, anything could still happen. Nick, I'm just so excited. I'm going mad. Nicky, <laughs> Nicky, it, it's not even about that. It's just the fact that we beat a brilliant team. And after we beat a brilliant yeah. team, the height is just higher to fall from as an Irishman true, uh, in yeah. rugby you, uh, you kind of fear Italy more because of the Australia result it's like it's an yeah. in, it's maybe an inbuilt thing in, in us Celts it's the, whether it's the chip in the shoulder whether it's the underdog status and I, I just wonder is the sneaking suspicion that Wales are going to go very far in this World Cup the worst thing I could be saying <laughs> I mean I had a dream last night oh here we go <laughs> It's Martin Luther King, isn't it? <laughs> I, I, I had a dream last night. <laughs> Did he say, like he said, I have a dream. I don't think he said last night. No, I, I, said, yeah. <laughs> I had a dream last night, but I forget where he was. <laughs> right, go ahead. What was it? What was it? No, I just felt, I, I had a dream that we got the final. And, and because we beat England in the semi, we got hammered 87 nil in the final, but I was still really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for the last few minutes, I want to switch to music. Your second favourite thing. Uh, you've released this singles collection. Um, is it 37 plus the new one now? Yeah. Over 21 years? years sometimes these will be done by record companies other times the band get involved have you been involved with this from the start oh, oh completely you know there's, there's no like contractual contractual obligation it's just that's kind of we're very much a completist as bands i think growing up we loved the idea of greatest hits when we'd grown up whether it was abba or echo and the benny, benny man it didn't really matter and um just feels like i don't know 10 000 on the same label just want to put it all out there. If we are going to move on to a next magical phase at our age, just sort of clearing the decks. I'm, I'm hope that's what it is because postcards from a young man did very well, but you did describe yeah. it as one last shot at mass communication. Can we now write that quote off? Can we consign it to the dustbin? It's not going to be a case <laughs> of put this out and, and and walk away. No, I think it's hard. You know, when you get in your forties, it's you know it's like a football player. They go into the media. It's much easier. And when, when you're a band, you just become a bit more indulgent and you can't keep scaling the commercial heights, perhaps, <laughs> that you once did, because it gets a bit embarrassing, you know. <laughs> Listen, Nicky... <laughs> it's a young man's game. Nicky, tell me this, I really need to know. Pat, Why oh, did the you only turn... footballer who ever had musical taste growing <laughs> up in the <laughs> And bad hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's here, the fringe, the fringe was good. It was a very good fringe. <laughs> That was very kind of you to say so. We'll not talk about my current hairstyle. Um, no, still, still into all that stuff just now. But why the change in yourself that it's much more rugby than the football? Why the, why the change? It's probably, I don't know, just something gripped me that when I realised that I wasn't going to be a footballer, that, I don't know, I, I slightly became a bit disheartened by it, you know, because I thought I'd play for Wales youth and stuff, and I, I was decent, you know, I was a good player, but I got a 15, I realised, God, there's so many players better than me, you know, and I sort of, I was getting dismissed, and I had daffodils coming out of my back pocket, <laughs> <laughs> which didn't go down well in the changing room. <laughs> I thought, well, and, um, same I don't problem, know. mate, same problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not to say I don't like football at all, because I am, I'm still a huge fan, but I guess when it comes to the national, because Wales, you know, I've seen two grand slams as well, it's, there's more of a chance of being successful for the national mm. side than the football, even though big we've secret, had a moment, you know. Big secret, by the way, yeah. I kind of agree with you, because <laughs> the, what, what those guys do to their bodies, yeah. the footballers can never stick with that. I heard you saying it earlier on, and I kind of know what you feel. <laughs> it's true, I mean, it's, spectacular use of, of, of one's body really to think you're just destroying it it's almost like a car crash sometimes with the props you know but uh, yeah. amazing amazing and good people as well I must say most of them you meet at gigs and stuff like that so, Nicky, a decent bunch unfortunately we're out of time we've got to finish That's at 10 right, o'clock it's such a shame thank you so much for coming on and we're not on next right, week then. I don't know where the Rugby World Cup is in two weeks but whether you're play if you're playing England will you come back on if I get It'll be a semi-final. You could be out. If you're not out, I will get a, a, an, a, an equal English 
And we'll get an Engl- English musician if you no, come if, back if, on and we'll have a little... If we get that far, I'll bring my guitar and I'll come in the studio. That's the deal. Ooh. Excellent. Oh. We'll watch it here. Oh. Nick I actually want Wales to win. Um, no, no, I don't. I don't want to hear I've, I've seen him play guitar before. Come on, Wales. Thank you, Nicky. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Stephen Olin's next. You're listening to BBC Radio 5 Live. <laughs> 